Hello, welcome to the climb to 1800. Let's jump straight into a game. We are back over 1500, but we could lose it again today. And no, if we win today, we will not drop below 1500 because we were playing a 1650. And I've been actually having some good luck against 1600s recently. However, there is a chance he doesn't play with us because, yeah, okay, he doesn't play with us. Um, however, I mean, he was only 150 points higher, so I'm not sure. Actually, that's quite a bit. So, yeah, he would have lost 11 and he only, only stood to gain like 5. Okay, e4 again against the 15, 1589. Okay, and we face the perk. Why have I been facing so much of this recently? Um, I don't know, but I play what I play. And this is, this is that. And just going through the moves, gaining some time. If he castles right now, I play e5. Okay, and taking is the main line. I don't know why, but I haven't learned the main line. Um, I've only learned, I, I know what to do no matter where this knight moves, if it moves anywhere. But if he takes, I do not know. Uh, I'm assuming I, I can take here, but obviously that allows him to trade the queens. Oops. Not so sure I want to let him do that. I could take this way too, but then I'm kind of asking for trouble with this. And then also taking this way looks good for the attack, so I'm, I'm going to take this way. Um, he can trade queens right now, but I mean, not much I can do to stop that. He might not want to trade though, because his knight will be hit after that. Maybe it's easier for him to just move the knight. And also, he is slightly higher rated than me, so it's possible that he wants to keep queens on the board for that reason too. But if he doesn't trade queens right now, I'm not going to give him the chance to do it in the future. Okay. I'm, I'm mentally not in it yet. I've been playing Helldivers all day, or after I got home from school, because it's a lot of fun. So, not exactly in a chess mindset right now. And yeah, that's a move I did see. I was thinking he could play that, um, and I guess he proved me correct. But I'm not afraid of it. In fact, I think that I'm going to use this as an opportunity to keep queens on the board. I want to castle queen side, though, so... Maybe I go bishop d2 instead of e2, I mean instead of d3. Um, however, this is a relatively important decision, so I don't want to make this too quickly. could also go here. I could also just literally castle kingside, which might even be simpler. But I would like to start throwing pawns at him, so I'm not sure. For me, it's either bishop d2 or bishop d3. And I think that long run bishop d3 is probably better. Why though? Hmm. Actually, now that I look at it, if I want to castle queen side, it looks like it's actually going to be a little bit difficult for me to do that. And if I castle queen side, I'm also going to have to get some control over the square. I think I'm going to opt to go here first. Just to stop the queen trade. Cut it in its tracks. And I'm slightly worried about my king's safety, to be honest. But I'm planning on going there next few moves if he just makes developing moves, so. I, I'm not too scared. Now, if he went here and tried to open up my king, then I might actually have to castle. But I'm not sure. Since I'm, it's, it's very late for me. I mean, it's not that late. It's 1040, but it's on a school night. So even if I lose this, I'm going to only play one game, which I've said multiple times, then got on to play two. But today I actually mean it. Okay, he does just castle. Um, Am I missing any tactics to trap this knight? Uh, I don't think I am. I really don't think I am, because he can always go back there, although that is a bit of an ugly square. Maybe I play this just to make him go to like a really awkward place. But... I can do that kind of at any point. I don't really think it's time pressing. Does this knight move have any threats? I don't think it does. So I'm going to play bishop d2 like I planned. I don't think it has any real threats. I can take there. I, if he goes here, I'm probably just going to play a3. Keep it simple. Okay, as I say that, I don't want to trade this. Um, I'm not sure that that move actually helped him that much, to be honest. 
Because now don't I just get a better position for my bishop kind of for free? I feel like that might have been a bit of a dopamine move. Because I wanted to be here more than I wanted to be on d3 anyway. Which does have me asking why I went... No, I went to d3 to stop the queen trade. But now that that's not a threat, I feel like I can definitely just move up one. Checking for forks, not seeing any. Checking for blunders, not seeing any. I think I'm all good. And I have settled on using the, this piece design. I like it better than the other ones I've tried. Okay, he just wants this um, pawn, which is actually pretty annoying to defend. Can I even defend this pawn? I mean, I can physically. I could play like rook c1, but that looks so ugly. I think that I'm getting outplayed here, which is what I say during many games, but I think it's true. Um, this is very annoying, actually. Wait, okay, yeah, he's definitely threatening this, also threatening it to happen with a fork. After this, he's probably going to take with that. Do I, I go here? No, he gets out. Hmm. Um, and since this comes with check, I can't really do anything to stop it beforehand. Rook c1 does seem like my only option right now, but I'm really hitting this. If I could just play a3 and h3 right now, I think I'd be fine. Um... Thankfully, oh wait, what am I talking about? I can just drop this bishop back. Took me a moment to see it, but that does feel like the best move. Yeah. And now I'm going to kick him out, basically no matter what he does next, unless he does something crazy. And my dream of castling queenside is dead, I think. I think I have to just settle and get safe. But I'm going to start playing slower because I have time. It's move 11, 11 and a half, I suppose. And I'm already in a position that I don't love. So I'm going to take some time to think on the next few moves. Okay. I mean, I say that, but I think that my move is pretty automatic. It's either a3 or h3, right? Let me scan for anything better. No moves come to mind. If, if I go here, where does he go? If he goes there, I'm happy to capture. And then give him a bit of an awkward position. But m more so than that, it's just to free up my pieces. If he, if he goes there, he's a bit weak. Can't go there. Can't take there. Definitely can't go there. Um, does he have any sacks before that? Checks? No. So I'm going to go here. And he's going to be... Forced to kind of put it into a bit of an awkward place. Yeah. So he, he does opt for that. I assume he wants to reroute it there, but I'm going to drop my bishop back if he attacks it. Now I could play h3, but that might be a bit too weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold off on h3. I'm actually going to go here. And then have plans of castling kingside. I think that seems like a good plan. However, I'm now seeing a line. Queen d2. Knight c5. And if I move my bishop back, I lose the pawn. So that doesn't actually work. I'd have to move this bishop first. Or I can just castle kingside. But I don't like the look of that too much, to be honest. Oh, or I could play this, this, kick him out entirely, and then play queen c2. Which does look good. You know what? If I'm going to castle queenside anyway, I might as well do this. So I I'm going to do it. If, if, yeah, if I'm going to castle queenside, I, I can blow up the king side. Basically worry-free. And now he's going to have to drop his other... Knight back to an awkward square. Then I'm going to kick out his bishop. Then I almost trap his knight. Not quite, but almost. Yeah, I mean, af after this, if I push my piece forward one more time, he, he, he does have that square, but almost trapped. 
After I go here, he doesn't want to go there, double up the pawns. Um, I mean, I could just, no, I don't want to play queen c2 because then he has this. Yeah, I'm going to play this to get his bishop stopping the, to not look at c2 anymore. Because I feel like that's the most annoying thing keeping me from playing queen e2 and, and moves like that. Then I'll be able to castle king side, I mean queen side, and then I'll have an x-ray on the queen or discovery. And I feel like my position will get nicer pretty fast. But I'm definitely not going to play g5. Because that would be a dopamine move. Not really, wouldn't really be threatening anything concrete, I think. Hmm. But it does depend on where he drops his bishop back. I assume he's going to go to d2 or d8. Because moving here looks really bad. And moving here definitely doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, d2 or, or c8. Um, I mean, hey, if, if he wants to play e, e6, I'm the first one to be happy about that. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to be the case. So he's, uh, yeah, so he, he does block his queen's development a little bit. If I play this, that actually does look kind of nice, but no, I'm not going to do that. Again, unfortunately, this does not trap the knight. Although I wish that it did. Now I play queen e2. And that prepares me to, to long castle. And if I long castle and move my bishop, then his other bishop is a little bit stuck where it is. Which I like the look of. And I think that we've climbed back. I'm pretty sure that we were a little bit worse for a moment there when the knights were invading and everything. Maybe not. Maybe I was overestimating my opponent's position. But I do feel pretty confident now. And this is why I love the scotch. So Sorry, not the scotch. We are not playing the scotch. We're playing the perk. And I do not particularly like the perk, so I do not know why I started that sentence. Um, <laughs> I was just kind of yapping, not going to lie. But, I mean, if, if he does play knight here, then I think that the move is going to have to be bishop a2. Then a long castle. Oh, he and he did move. Okay. So he plays this, but that kind of shuts his own bishop out of the game, and his knight is never really going to have any play. So I think I'm fully happy about... Uh, 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 I can't speak about this. Um, and, I mean, I'm just going to finish my plan, right? Do I have anything better? I don't think so. I'm just going to finish my plan. Yeah. And now I'm liking this a ton. I mean, in a moment, I'm just going to try to steamroll him. Maybe I even play g6 first, force his knight there, and then start going up. Then again, maybe that blockades my position a little bit too much. I'm not, I mean, I'm really not sure. I could also try to sneak into f6 with, with my knight. Not totally sure how that would work yet. Um, this is definitely anybody's game still, though. Obviously. Okay, he moves his, his queen. I assume it's to get out of the line of the discovery. I could just move my bishop. Um, I could attack this knight. Doesn't actually do anything. Can't play this yet. Because that... Ha Wait, does that hang this pawn? Because then I move the knight. And does he have anywhere to go? If, if I go here and takes, I move my knight... Where does he go with his? Um, oh, he can just go right back to where he was before. So never mind. Um, wait, I, if I could get my knight in there, that would actually be perfect. I can, although it's kind of hard for, for me to maneuver. I can try to go like this and then control both of these squares really nicely. So that would take that that would cost me three moves. Is it worth it? Maybe not. Because I wanted to kind of barrel these pawns down the position anyway, so it might not actually be worth it. Then again, a knight there looks really strong. Um could also just move this bishop. I could go here with the idea of kind of ma maybe making a battery or something. But one thing I do like is moving this knight. 
for the purpose of pushing this pawn. Um, yeah, and then if he goes here, then I go here, but then he can just take. So never mind, that's kind of inviting things I don't want. I wish I had a better place for this knight. So maybe I go here so I can drop over here. Oh, and then I can reroute this way. Um, hmm. If only, by the way, the reason I'm doing this is actually maybe I go rook g1 just to really strengthen this. In fact, I like rook g1 a lot. I really like rook g1. I think I like it enough to play it. Yeah, I'm, I, I like rook g1 enough to play it. Now I'm threatening pushing up, like just kind of rolling him. <laughs> However, his knight is going to be annoying to remove from f5 in the future. And I'm sure that wasn't the most accurate move, but I don't know what was better, to be honest. And I'm not sure I have the mental power to fi figure that out <laughs> right now. Then again, I don't know why I'm starting an attack when I don't really see if, how it's going to work at all. Because his king does look pretty safe to me. And now that I look at it again, actually, I'm kind of wishing I had gone bishop e3, both to re reroute the knight like this and to stop his knight from coming into c5 and getting more active. So maybe that was a better plan, playing against his peace activity with slow development. Right now I'm just trying to push. Oh, and he's trying to crush me at the same time. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, that is funny. Obviously, you don't have any sacks. I mean, I assume he's going to go there next move, but that'll just let me bring my knight in even more. Or, or not even, I'll just take. I don't think his attack is as strong as mine is. But I'm not sure either of us actually have that strong of an attack. Maybe we're both just pretending we do. Um... I can't stop him from pushing this. Actually, I could stop him from pushing this pawn by playing knight here. And that would strengthen this move, my attack, even more. And it would open us up the dark for a bishop. I really like the look of knight e4. And it jumps into these squares. Yeah, knight e4 is definitely the move here. No questions asked. Knight e4 is definitely the move. Because that stops him from pushing this. That lets me jump in here, lets me jump in here, potentially. That adds support on my pawn advances. Yeah, I think it's just multi-purpose. And even if I were to get here with the check, if he doesn't take me, and he moves there or something, then I would not trade for this bishop, because his, his bishop is dead. I mean, so is mine, though, but you know what I mean. I was thinking about that move. I was thinking about that. Obviously his plan is just to close me in, but... Is it gonna work? I could go out here right now with tempo. I don't think that's the best move. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a bit afraid of this, but I think that after I drop back, I, I mean, my bishop is dead, but his is also. Do I have any tactics at all? Um, nope. Not that I see. Yeah, maybe I, sh I should have played bishop b3 to stop this. Oh, that wouldn't have even stopped it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um... Oh, do you know what I can do? I can play knight checks. Either he takes and weakens his king side, or I play here, check, moves, takes, and then he, oh, but no, but he recaptures with the queen, so I don't actually win this pawn. But either way, I feel like it's a victory for me if I weaken his attack. Or maybe I just keep my knight there. 
you know, I do like the look of that. And even if he does push this pawn and I am forced to go back, I don't think that's the end of the world. I can always play this or something. I don't know. Unfortunately, I have no sacks. I definitely don't want to play c4. That would be like positional suicide, I think. Actually, would it be? Because I'm, I mean, my king's on the diagonal, but here takes. But if I go c5, he probably goes b4, then takes, takes, and yeah, that's terrible. Um, yeah, none, none of that works. <sighs> okay, I, I'm going to go for this check. I, I'm going to go for the check. He takes with the bishop, surprising. But now I think that... My pawn is really in his face more than he'd like. Yeah, I mean, that's the move, but I mean, I have this. And I mean, now I can even stop his pawn. I think that these pawns look intimidating, but they might not actually be that much of a threat. I think that my threat on him is much more serious than his on mine. And then I'm just going to start pushing. And I am down five or six minutes, but okay, where does he want to go? He doesn't have any natural squares at all. I don't think he really has a place for that knight. Maybe he's just trying to improve it. I'm not sure. Um, if I push this knight here, he's probably not want to get. He's probably not going to want to give up this bishop. Um, if if I play here, obviously his only move is there, but um. This check for attacks. This is an interesting idea. But it doesn't achieve that much. Wait a minute. I can play this with tempo because that attacks his knight. Where does he move his knight? Wait a minute. Did he blunder a piece? Wait, what am I... Sorry, I'm this, I mean. Where does he move his knight? He can't. He can't move his knight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, oh yeah, I think that wins a knight, not totally sure though, gonna have to double check me on that. Yeah, that knight being undefended did bite him in the butt, or bite him in the back, <laughs> I'm not sure which version of that is correct. Oh yeah, that's gonna be brutal for him to deal with. Wow. Yeah, and he does just have to sack the piece. Um, and then, I mean, obviously, I, I go here, right? Let's go! Woo! I assume he's going to take here. But, I mean, I just, I mean, I'm up a piece now. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, it looks like my attack was in fact stronger. <laughs> um, okay, he attacks my queen. Where do I want to go with it? I think I want to go here so I can maybe get in. Could also go here. Um, I could also go here supporting this entire push. But I like here because it makes it so that even if he does push this pawn, he doesn't even have the option of doubling. If I go here, actually, I suppose that he does have this annoying move. But how annoying is it, actually? It's actually not that annoying, because then I get in. Um, let's see. I mean, I think I have to be very, very, very strategic about this. Oh yeah, I like here a lot for a few reasons, and I'll explain them after I make the move. Yes, this is definitely the move. Um, I can retreat with tempo. Even if he does attack my queen, I can um, play this, and then after it captures, 
Oh no, that actually wouldn't work because it would go here, here, captures, captures, oops, hung a night. So never mind, but I don't think that I'm actually in that much danger, even if he does do this. I don't lose a pawn or anything, even. Although, he would be able to get in and kind of harass my rooks a little bit, but nothing major. If I survive the next five moves, I think I win. Okay, so he does play that. Um, obviously, he wants the discovery. Um, I could just play this, right? And then no matter where he goes, I can take here. I can also play this with tempo. Then he moves down here, harasses my knight a little bit though. I could also just like lock my bishop in, but why would I put my own bishop in jail? I don't know. Maybe his plan is to go there, takes, takes. Um, okay, I have two minutes, so I need to be a lot faster. Wait, let me just double check. Here, if he takes, I can just recapture. If he goes here, then I can um, first capture with check here, move it. So yeah, I'm totally fine. But I am dropping this pawn, actually, because here, captures, captures with check, recaptures, capture. Okay, never mind. Um, I think I want to do this with tempo. Yeah, I think so. My biggest enemy is going to be the clock right now. I wish I had like 30 minutes, even though it's 11.06. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just up, I'm just up a piece at the end of the day. And he's going to have to have to be careful because his knight's pretty loose. <sighs> but looks like this is going according to plan so far. I don't like how much pressure he has down the middle of the board, but a few accurate moves and I should be okay. Um, but it's going to depend what I... Okay, so he, now he wants this, but... Now I can actually even just move over here and keep all my pieces. Or I can go here, be a bit tricky, because then um, takes, 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 takes. No, I'm just going to go here, protect everything. Why wouldn't I? He can't really go there. I guess he could. But... Yeah, he's cooked. He is cooked. And I mean, if he gets if he gives me the opportunity to, I'm gonna just guarantee the pawn advantage. Go here maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I don't even do that. Maybe I just push this pawn. But that is making things more complicated than it has to be, I think. Um Yeah, I've been getting a lot of experience in the perk lately, just because so many people play it. Okay, he attacks my bishop. I mean, I can just move it. Not, uh, do I move it there? That makes, seems to make it a little bit too loose for my liking. Um, uh, where do I put it? I could put it there. And then why make things complicated? Then takes, takes, takes. Takes, 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 and he wins it, actually. Um, I can go here, threaten his knight, and obviously this man does not want trades right about now. This is a man who is afraid of trades. But he doesn't really have anywhere natural to drop it back to. I guess he could go there, but... Yeah, yeah, that might be his only square to not trade. I mean, maybe I lost this pawn, but at the end of the day, I'm up a piece. Maybe that wasn't the most accurate move, move by me, actually. I mean, if he moves there, I'm more than happy, though. 
obviously, because that would blunder piece or, I mean, a, a pawn. Don't think he's going to do that, though. Oh, but after he goes there, I can go here. Fully locking down on the position. Then he can't really attack me too naturally again. And I win in tempo. And with that tempo, I'll probably take there. And I have a super advanced pawn. And I'm going to go here. Going to threaten this. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tasty. And, I mean, if he lets me trade, I'll trade. For sure. <sighs> the only issue is I have a minute and a half. But, thankfully, it's plus 10. So, um, If he plays this, I'm going to play this. No questions asked. And hope it's not a blunder. <laughs> But, yeah, it's going to all depend on what he does. He could also take here, but then takes. And then I guess he can take again, but... I'll move here, and now I'm just trying to trade in two places. So he does have a few options, but... None of them are going to get him out of the holy zone. In fact, I'm expecting him to take here instead. Because that was kind of his whole hope. But it's not going to work. Not going to work, I think. I mean, if it does work, I'm screwed. Actually, no, no, I wouldn't be. What am I talking about? I'm still up a piece. I'm up a piece. Get that in, in your head. I'm up a piece. Things can go badly, but at the end of the day, winning. One thing I do have to calculate is takes, 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 moves, slides over. Oh, wait, no, I wouldn't have to move to move, to move my queen in that position. Never mind. Takes, takes, takes. I can stay exactly where I am and trade. Whoa. Okay, so he's getting a little bit desperate. That seems like a desperation move. I can trade here and just push forward. Or I can not trade. I can just slide over. Um, if I slide over, where does he go? Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. He'll have to drop all the way back. Obviously, he wants me to take and then I can't recapture. But I mean, I, I could just push forward and I'll probably be totally fine. But why make it complicated? Actually, my, my bishop is terrible. Why wouldn't I trade? Yeah, trade double his pawns. Wait, I need to be careful. Here takes... Um, I can't recapture. I have to go here. Then takes, takes... Um, yeah, I'm fine. And my bishop was so dead, so I think that actually helps me more than it helps him. Now I can take here, but yeah, now, now I push this, don't want to give him any opportunities. Actually, pushing there was a mistake, I think. Okay, now he does that. And I'm back up to 40 seconds, and where do I go? I think I go right here. Now he can trade um, rooks, and yeah, go, I think that taking this knight was actually a mistake. I probably should have gone king b1, but I th I'm still happy with this. And I mean, I can, I can just go here. I mean, obviously not right now, but in the future. Obviously threatening the lollipop mate. And one thing I'm not going to do is ever let my king on a light square where he's going to check and win my bishop. I'm going to be very careful about that. <laughs> yeah, very careful of this. Um, yeah. And after I move my knight here, he's going to be utterly hopeless. Okay. Um... 
Don't I take here first? Yeah, takes, takes, he took there. Wow. Oh, did I blunder a piece? Oh no. No, because I have this in for Mezzo, thankfully. Wait, I think I blundered a piece. Oh no. I blundered a piece, he can take there. Oh my God. Ridiculous. Oh my god, I just had to. Oh my god. I had to hold strong for like two more moves. I blundered a piece. Ridiculous. He misses it. Does he actually? Yeah, no. Wait. I can go here threatening mate. Hey, this is going to get crazy. And then I can go here. Now the problem is not that comes with I can get in this check, I'm happy. Yeah, I think I preserved my piece actually, somehow. The problem is I have no time. Oh my god. If I had like two more minutes, I'd be golden, I think. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, takes, moves, check, moves. Yeah, I have to take, I have no time. Did I just wonder? I don't know. I have no time. I think I did just blunder. I think I just blundered checkmate. This is mate. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had I had so many winning moves. Literally anything was a winning move except for what I played. Anything was a winning move. Even this move, oh my god, even this move I was gonna... I guess that's not winning maybe, because queen f6. Oh my god. I'm so mad. Oh my god. That was a terrible game. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. That was so bad. Okay, well. Um, let me think about what homework I have to do. Not that much. You know what? I know I said I wouldn't play another one, but let's play another one. <laughs> let's play another one. Actually, no. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't have time. Oh my god. Well, you know what? If I'm going to lose a game, I might as well lose a game that I played absolutely horribly. So, I guess I deserve to lose there. Wow. 
I can't believe that just happened. I was literally plus like 11. I was plus 11 as long as I just defended this freaking bishop. It was mate on the board. Oh my god. Literally, the position was so bad for my opponent that the top move is to take, is to fully sack the queen from nothing. And I managed to blunder that. Somehow. I'm so mad. Okay, well, good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.